In this related rates problem, we read that the two sides of a triangle measure 10 and 12 centimeters. The angle between them increases at pi over 12 uh, radians per second. How fast is the area increasing when the angle between them is uh, pi over 2? Okay, so what do we know? Okay, well we got this triangle here. Say this is 10, and this is 12. Here's my angle theta. I'm drawing the two ends here. The two sides here are constant. Okay? They aren't changing in time at all. What is changing is the length of that side right there and the angle between them. Now, what I'm looking for, sorry, I should say it like this. The angle between them is increasing. So d theta by dt is increasing at pi over 12 radians per second. What I want, okay, is I want to know how fast the area is changing, okay, when the angle between them is specifically pi over 2. Okay, how fast is that changing? Okay, so what I need is some sort of relationship between the area and that angle right there. Let's take a quick look at this triangle again. Uh, so the area of a triangle we know is going to be 1 half base times height. So what I'm missing here right now is height. Okay, so let's look at this triangle right here. I've got that angle, at least I, I have a variable for that angle. And I know that this is going to stay constant here. So height is going to be the sine of that angle over 10. So the sine of theta will equal the height over 10. So 10 times the sine of theta is going to equal the height of that that uh, triangle here. Now, uh, that's important because now I can make a substitution because here we go. Based on this triangle right here, the area of that thing will be one half base times height. And I'll just plug this in like this. So this will be one half 12 times 10 times the sine of theta. Okay? Uh, okay, so we got half of 12 is going to be 6 times 10. It'll be 60 sine of theta. There's my area here. So now I can take the derivative of this and I will get a relationship between the rate of change of area and the rate of change of the angle. So dA by dt is going to equal 60 cosine of theta d theta by dt. Now the nice thing about this is the dA by dt has already been isolated. I don't need to do that. All I need to do is figure out what, what this is equivalent to at that moment here. So we got 60 times the cosine of pi over 2 and then we already know that this is going to be pi over 12 uh, radians per second. So let's evaluate this. The cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So this whole thing goes to 0. This is going to be 0 radians, or sorry, in this case right here, uh, not radians here. Uh, remember that, that what we had here, the base times height, these were both measured in, in terms of uh, centimeters, I believe, here. So this will be 0 centimeters squared per second. In other words, what we know here is at that moment of, ti at, of time here, when, so at the moment theta is equal to pi over 2, the area isn't changing. So I suspect what's happening here, what's going on here is that one way or another here, the, the area was either increasing or decreasing. Basically what's happening here is it's changing directions, okay? It switches from increasing to decreasing. So what we're seeing here is a, like a maximum or a minimum. Now in this case it turns out it is a maximum. Uh, that pi over 2 is going to be where the maximum area occurs, okay? Just an interesting little property of uh, related rates.